The focus of my talk today is about people in my world now. You know, documenting my world has really made me think more about queer style and the population, like the diverse population of creative queers out there these days. And it's made me want to do like a book, uh, like a fruits book of queer style or a blog about queer style. Look at him. I mean, he's just killer. Scott Hug, he's a great artist. I mean, some of them, they're just drop dead, like sexy people. And, um, you know, I think that's part of queerness too. And it's a different kind of queerness or sexy than lesbian chic, than gay male sexy. There's like a queer kind of sexy that I think is a, an, um, an important kind of visual conversation that's happening within the kind of multifaceted queer community. So this is the second part, which is just a, a small group of people who I put on top of my icon list. Nalen Blake, um, shapeshifter, important artist, director of the ICP bar grad program in photo. Incredible, incredible style. Um, whether he's a crazy, burly bear, or, you know, the tattooed biker dude, like you see over here. Um, Nayland has had so many different looks and just is an incredible person to see on, on the street at any time. Ryan Tricartan, another incredibly stylish, mean, um, and not like in street style, but stylish artist. Um, his work to me is so much about style and so much about um, pop culture references and fashion and, and um, you know, performance of different stereotypes and cultural references. So Ryan is the same person here, 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 here. These different characters, um, not all of them are him, but he's a very successful artist who's been showing work at all different museums around the world and um, people love that crazy style of his. Barbara Hammer, also an icon to me. Um, she's an older filmmaker who is super sexy butch, kind of old school butch. Um, I just, when I see her, I just can't believe it. She's like radiating health and, and power and just going so strong as a filmmaker and she's a real inspiration to me and I love her kind of pared down butch style that stays consistent. J.D. Sampson, um, another queer style icon. I see J.D. around and just am amazed by this transgender person who I think is going by she these days. Uh, Shannon Funches, the singer from Light Asylum, kind of has the Grace Jones look, but very much her own style. Um, she's totally fierce and inspiring to me. Zachary Drucker, a transgender artist from LA who's incredibly glamorous and fashionable. And she's doing a lot of really interesting work in video and um, performance. And often collaborates with A.L. Steiner, someone I showed earlier. And then we have Kate Hardy who um, is an essential queer style icon of today. And Kate is the one who had the fashion show at the Whitney Museum a year ago, spring, and um, is kind of the anti-fashion designer artist. I, I think in terms of like queer style from a very particular point of view that is very contemporary, Kate Hardy is like the quintessential icon. And then we have Peggy Noland, another incredible designer who's based out of Kansas City in LA, who does a lot of um, costumes for musicians, including Fisher Spooner and um, Cody Critchlow. And she's got an incredible kind of um, fashion art practice that involves a lot of performance and um, kind of site-specific installation in a retail context for her work. So those are all my contemporary icons and I want to close with just saying that for me one of the ultimate queer style icons ever, ever, ever is Lee Bowery. 
and um, I know he's been so important to so many people and died way too young and um, really kind of, there, there aren't many people who can follow him in terms of his very powerful visionary presence in the world. So um, yeah, thank you.